you invited students out today. What did that add to practice, and what brought that about? Well, you know, you want the student body to realize it's their football team. Uh, it's just not us over here practicing, lifting weights. It's the whole university's football team, and we're trying to encourage uh, you know, students and students and want to get out and see what their team goes through and personally invite them to the game and personally challenge them to not only for them to come, but to grab two, three friends to come to every game. Did you notice the players respond to that and the audience out there? I think a little bit. I, I, you know, I thought uh, the practice was good for coming off two days off. It wasn't great, but that's, you know, that's usually everywhere I've ever been, you know, when you have the break at the end of camp and then school starts, it's, you come out here a little bit sluggish and trying to get back in the groove. But I thought for the most part, uh, the guys did well. Uh, I thought the offense responded from the scrimmage on Saturday and came out and had a great day. Defense was a little sluggish, and you know we got to think we got to get our mind right as soon as we walk in the building. Whether it's one o'clock, one thirty, one forty-five, we got to have our mindset that we're going to have a great day. We can't wait to hear two or hear six. It's like game day. You can't you gotta get your mind ready as the week progresses so you're ready to play on Saturday because we want fast starts and we got to work out work on coming out here better at the start of practice. With a faster start. How is the situation with Ellen Gold manpower and deployment at running back? Yeah. So, 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 yeah. Uh, well, it was good to see Sosa out today and, and walking around. He, he had a scope, and you know we're still not sure exactly when he'll be back, but we're trying to get him back as as, as fast as possible. Uh, I feel really good about Dawkins and uh, Jason Oden. Again, like I said on Saturday, they didn't practice a lot, uh, but uh, really pleased with how they practiced. Uh, I thought Izzy Matthews did a nice job in the scrimmage. He's big. Uh, he's still learning the position, but he's heavy. He's hard to tackle. You know, he's a bigger, I mean, KPL had, I'm sorry, KPL had a shot on him during the scrimmage, faced up and really came and laid the wood, but he, he bounced off. And uh, that's what big backs can do. They can get the yards after contact. So, I, you know, I would say he moved up in that conversation of being that third back. Him and Duran are still in competition. Deron didn't have his best day catching the ball. We really didn't run the ball that much, but he didn't do a great job catching the ball in the backfield. But he'll get some more opportunities this week, and there'll be a competition to see who's the third back going in for the for the first game of Sosa's truly out. How this about the deployment a, and lineman up front? Well, you know, we've got some issues inside with guys uh, being out and uh, the, two, the two centers being a little bit banged up. Kevin O'Brien has sucked it up and went on camp. Jake's back out, and he's getting back in the groove. But, you know, it's a guy that's coming off two major surgeries and trying to feel his way back, get his balance back, get his time and learn the new calls, learn a new system. Uh, so those guys are doing, doing a nice job. Moxley, at the end of last week, uh, wasn't having really great practices, but we thought he played really well in the scrimmage and played hard. Uh, he's still learning the position, but he's a guy that we got to continue to coach to get ready. Colby Meeks is, we're trying to get him ready as well, and we can have some depth up there, but you know, the, in, the inside positions, uh, you know, still trying to solidify. We got to play a little bit better there. Fred, Fred, Fred practiced today and uh, did good. The running game last couple of years, 2,000 plus yards as a team. Is that production still up to 2,000 yards last year? Yeah. Wow. 2,800 <laughs> the year before that with, with the three. But I mean, is that type of production still in this offense and still with the group of backs you have? No, there's there's no question. I think we've got talented backs to get the job done. Uh, at the end of the day, we want to be balanced, uh, you know, in attempts and passing, and you know, be able to have explosive plays, both run and pass. But at the same time, we're going we're going to play to our strengths. And if we feel like the receiver core and the tight end a little bit more strength, we might be a little bit tilted more pass the run, but uh, we still got to have balance. We're not going to be just all throwing or all all running, but I do think the capabilities there. If we can do what I think we can do as far as uh, offensively spreading the ball around and making them defend the whole field, that will help the running game and for us to be able to pop big runs. Kyle also, Robinson and uh, uh, Terry Jackson not in pass. Kyle, Kyle has uh, has got a back issue and we think he's going to be back uh, tomorrow or the next day. Terry hadn't practiced in a, you know, about eight days, mm -hmm. uh, so he's he's has got a concussion and we're waiting for him to get cleared, so that's up to the doctors. How's Richard doing it as far as just being able to get back into the group of things? He's obviously missed a lot of time, and you were starting to sound a little concerned about that last well, week. Well, just, you know, I don't care who you are. You've got to have reps. you got to, you got to hear the calls. you got to know what's going up. you got to be able to play fast. Uh, you know, so I, I'm concerned with that a little bit, that he understands the offense completely. Uh, when I went back and watched the film, he had actually had two. He had one more catch that he got called back because of uh, a penalty. But 
the way he played, he played extremely hard in the blocking, uh, gave great effort. Uh, so, you know, I feel really good about him and his attitude and where he's at. We just got to find, get in the rhythm of uh, him running routes and timing of him and the quarterback. Is he going to be all right by the opening? Oh, yeah. He practiced full go and scrimmage and full go today. He looks good. Where's Jason Newton falling in? Like, if you said Izzy and Duran are like your three, is that just because Treyas is out? Trey's out. Okay. Yes. Well, D Dawkins and Odin are basically kind of code ones right now. Okay. You know, it'll be based on the practices. Uh, who starts the game? You still have hopes that Trace might be back for the opener. Well, that's it? It, yeah. yeah, yeah. He had a scope, and it's kind of how he come, comes comes along. But you know, ultimately, uh, Terry and the doctors will say, "Hey, he's clear or he's not." You know, but if he's going to practice. He'll have. I mean, if he's going to play, you know, I would say by you know Wednesday at the latest, he probably need to practice because he had some time off. And, you know, we've got two guys and a third coming on. I feel pretty good about. So it would have to be. We feel really good that he's healthy and ready to go. Is your mindset right now you're going to go with maybe one primary back and then two backups, or you think it'll be no, like, I think like it'll, a committee? I, I think it'll be by committee. Uh, you know, I think these guys got to stay fresh. I think we got a long season. Not to say any one particular game, if a guy gets hot and, and is feeling it, that he might get more carries this game than the other game. But, uh, you know, to me it's competition during a game, too. How are guys feeling? But I won't, I won't, you know, the way we play and play fast and play physical, you know, I want to roll guys in there at every position. So in the fourth quarter, we're fresh, uh, and the other guy, hope, the other team, hopefully is dragging a little bit, and we're putting fresh bodies in there, keep our guys fresh. I want to play multiple receivers, multiple tight ends, multiple backs. One, I think it's great for morale. Uh, two, I think it's great for your offense in the fourth quarter. Uh, but those guys got to be dependable. I'm not going to play guys that aren't ready to play just because of. You know, hey, we, we want to play more guys. You got to earn the right. If, if multiple backs earn the right, and right now Dawkins and Odin have earned that right, so both will play. Multiple receivers have earned that right. Multiple tight ends. So we'll play multiple guys to stay fresh. How are you feeling about just the ability for the team to get the tempo down? That was obviously a big thing going in. Are they getting to where they need to be on that, or is there still a lot of work to do before the opener? Uh, no, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, you know, you just got to continue to practice fast. You can't slow down because you, you might be each week you try to teach a little bit and install something new and that you're going to run but you got to be able to handle that in meetings and walkthroughs and get out here we got to practice fast and coach off, off of the tape uh, but i feel good about it and how fast we go will depend on how many guys i feel are ready to play too and then on the other hand how we play in defensive you know if you're going real fast and not doing anything offensively and, you know they're make, doing some defense you might have to slow it down or if you're Going fast and scoring too fast and putting your defense out there and they're not they're not able to regroup. You know you're going to play within a game and try to be mindful of the whole game. What's going on defense and special teams? Did you like what you saw from your quarterbacks today after the way they struggled Saturday? No, I thought they did a good job. Both 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 quarterbacks led their teams in one minute. Uh, all we needed was a field goal and they led them to touchdowns. And uh, you know I think the no huddle throughout the practice took the toll in the one minute drive. Uh, the defense was gassed. Uh, and really couldn't couldn't get lined up, get the proper technique, and score touchdowns because of um, alignment and assignment, and, and they got a little bit gassed. But uh, both did a nice job. They were, we were a little bit off early in practice, but as we went along, I thought we did a nice job. Coming out of the scrimmage, were there freshmen that you're planning on moving forward with that you think have earned the right to, to be in your plans? Well, defensively, I'd say it's Braylon Scott. Uh, you'll see on the field uh, right now. Let's, Something happens. It's not a freshman, but Darnell Thompson uh, is a newcomer. Offensively, uh, Colby Meeks, BC Johnson is still trying to battle for playing time and crack the lineup, whether it's receiver or special teams. Um, am I missing anybody? Izzy, you mentioned. Oh, Izzy, that, Izzy, okay. yeah. Izzy, Izzy is we're moving forward to, to get ready to play. You know, and he's, he's doing a nice job, and he's got to continue to compete. Uh, you know, with the injury at back, kind of throws him in there a little bit, but you, you need backs, you know. You need guys, guys get dinged up, and it's going to be a long season.